everyone, it's another What's Next video here in North San Diego County. This is Duluth Canyon, California. Look at this pond, it's full. The water is still coming through. We have another storm coming in in about a week. It's supposed to be just about as strong as this one has been. And right now I am finally getting some exercise. I haven't been able to get out and do anything for a good week and i've gained weight and all kinds of other things just from being lazy and and uh, i guess just being stuck in the house because of all the rain but this is really pretty today i've got about three and a quarter miles to do i just started i've only got about maybe a quarter mile in so far i'm going to go all the way around this farm and we're going to head up and down this whole area and the beekeepers coming in right now and he's going to check on all those beehives right there behind me. So I'll try to stay away from this little corridor right here because this is where they like to fly. This is sort of like a flying path and I've had them land in my hair and that's no fun to get stung in the head by bees. So having said all of that, let's see if I can traverse through this water and go up and through those cherimoyas up there. We'll look at what that looks like underneath that grove. catch my breath here. I'm going uphill. I have a long ways to go uphill, but I thought I would stop and show y'all this beautiful cherimoya stand. Cherimoyas are a tropical fruit, and these are the pretty ones. All the little hearts, and they get pretty good size. And this is the inside. It's amazing. Let's get on trucking. Hi everyone, it's a beautiful day today. I just finished my trek. I did 3.1 miles or a 5K. I did it at my usual pace, 128 steps per minute. And it was uh, a lot of fun. It was easy. I did go through a little bit of mud because everything is still wet. The stream is running. And as you see in this video, that the pond is running over. And I didn't too much do too much more videoing outside of the Cherimoya Grove. Uh, but I'm all set and ready to go for another uh, meetup group, another event. This coming up in the next couple of weeks. I'll post that on my Trekking Sticks and Yoga channel. And um, with that, I think I'm going to get my gloves off get out of these sweaty clothes and also let's measure how much rain we actually got for this last week. Today is the first day of sunshine. It's beautiful outside today. We got five days of clear weather and then I suspect we're going to have another big storm coming in. So that's it for now and I will turn the video off here and go look at the water and then edit the video out. Hi everyone, welcome to another day here in North County, San Diego, California. This is Duluth Canyon and it is a spectacular day today. It's actually really nice and warm. Everything is so green and full of water. We've got enough. My bucket had a leak in it. I was going to show everybody yesterday that I had eight and a half inches in there, but it leaked down to about four right below the hole. Everything looks wonderful here. My little shelter, my trailer stayed dry the whole time and we're going to be looking at some more rain coming in towards the end of the week. But for today, this end of the video is going to be going down, way down the hill, way down that way. We can't see it because of the banana trees, which I've got a really nice hand, bunch of hands of bananas growing right there. Those are tasty, they're called ice cream. And next to some miniature Cavanaugh bananas, which have got hands inside of them. But, and then later on, I'm going to go down to that tree right there where there's some golden nugget tangerines. And I'm gonna pick a few of those for myself. But we're gonna get into a gator, a John Deere little farm tractor, farm vehicle. 
it's not even a tractor but it's a farm vehicle and we're going to go and get some compost for filling up my buckets here that were growing my tree tomatoes now if you've been watching my videos you know that I grow tree tomatoes this is not happy right now because it's going to be growing into new tree tomatoes we put all these tree tomatoes in the ground because of the ones that we oh these are all cuttings by the way they are they will grow into tomato tree tomatoes and the farm has decided that they are actually going to go ahead and start growing them uh, for production to market um, it sounds like they're going to be popular so we'll stop by on the way down picking up the John Deere gator uh, to look at where they're planted this is where the tree tomatoes used to rest or reside they used to grow all the way to the roof and they are now gone and in place we're going to be putting pots to grow more lettuce so let's head on down to pick up the one of these guys that look like this but it belongs to the farm owner and thank you Gail for letting me use that today we're on the way down this is a ton of real tree or tree tomato that has lots of the fruit on it this is actually grown from one of my cuttings um, and this is what we're going to put in the ground now this is where they are going to be growing now and all of this down there was growing by the end that's all going to be lettuce I had that growing in the pots and then we decided to put these in the ground and grow tree tomatoes on the farm now so that's what these are all about however I can see the lettuce is going to be having a little problem with the critters here I'm not too sure unless we put a fence around it if we can keep the rabbits out of that stuff so without further ado let's go on down to the gator I think I showed you all this before these are called Buddha's hand and they are really a unit, unique uh, citrus they're called citron actually but the, we call them Buddha's hand here it is this is the little gator and this is a bucket I'm gonna fill that up four or five times and throw it in the back because this is a dump truck it has a dump bin rather dump rear end and this is Mrs. Cunningham's or Miss Gale's little run around for the farm and her truck I don't think this pitchfork is going to hold up very long, so I'm going to pick up another one. So I got another pitchfork and a shovel. up a bucket to show you what this looks like it comes from the one of the parks and recreation departments they dumped whole piles of this a couple years ago it probably about a half an acre full and uh, now this is all we have left they quit bringing that stuff so we're making our own compost so we'll be stopping by that pile and picking up some of those wood chips as well but for now I'll show you one bucket then I'm going to turn the gator around and then fill up the back end
funny thing about this stuff, since it comes from the park, there's a lot of stuff in this besides compost. Um, we find plastic bags, toys, a little styrofoam, but for the most part it's pretty good compost. And um, that's what I'm going to do is get five of these. given me another one. It's washed away a lot of uh, the thing. It has lots of bark on it, meaning that there's going to be some nice wood underneath this. It's wet, but it weighs a lot, so it's really hard wood. So I'll save this one too. Check this one out. A lot of bark. It's got some rot on it, some bugs, pressure wash it, let it cure out, carve it down. It'll have a lot of pretty stuff on it. This is another silver oak, or live oak rather. So I'll save this one too.
Well, these are pretty much ready to go. They should probably have another week on them. This one for sure, another week, but it'll ripen on my counter. So this tree actually has a good, a good week or maybe two more before they're nice and easy peel. Right now they're just a little hard to peel, but they're real juicy and sweet inside. So they're good enough for me.
to keep the water heater from flooding over and drink and drain it over and out of your house. So these are water heater drain pans. And the water heater sits on these. They're made of a really good dense uh, material, some acrylic or plastic type stuff, and they've lasted years. So that's what I put my buckets on. So next 